The US company Lockheed Martin is working to develop the world's fastest aircraft ever built. The SR-72, nicknamed Son of Blackbird, would be an unmanned hypersonic aircraft that can reach speeds up to Mach 6 or 7,400 kilometers per hour. In this video, we'll explore the current production status of the SR-72, take a closer look at its capabilities, and uncover the secrets behind its incredible speed. The SR-72 is the successor to the legendary US supersonic reconnaissance aircraft, SR-71. It is expected to have a similar size, over 100 feet, 30 meters long. Unlike the SR-71, the SR-72 will be unmanned and twice as fast. The SR-71 was retired in 1998 because it was expensive to operate and vulnerable to advanced Soviet missiles. Also, improvements in spy satellites and drones have led the US to focus less on supersonic spying missions. While the SR-71 was mainly for spying, the SR-72 would have both spying and striking capabilities. It would carry new weapons that can handle speeds up to Mach 6 and altitudes up to 80,000 feet. Its hypersonic speed and equipped with hypersonic weapons would further boost its ability to penetrate heavily guarded enemy territories. With its Mach 6 speed, the SR-72 can outrun existing fighter jets and even pose a threat to them. The SR-72 will attain hypersonic speed through a turbine-based combined cycle, TBCC propulsion system. This sophisticated setup merges conventional jet engines, turbines, with ramjet rocket engines. It offers the flexibility to alternate between or integrate these engines, optimizing efficiency and performance over different speeds and altitudes. In the SR-72, both the turbine and ramjet engines will utilize a shared inlet and nozzle while maintaining separate airflow paths. The primary challenge with hypersonic speed arises from aerodynamic heating, which can cause conventional metallic airframes to melt when exceeding Mach 5 speed. Therefore, the SR-72 will be constructed using composite materials like metal blends or carbon fibers, similar to those employed in space shuttles. The SR-72 is expected to have a range similar to the SR-71, around 5,230 kilometers. However, its exact capabilities will only be confirmed once fully developed and tested. The SR-72 was announced for production in 2013, but was put on hold for a few years. Now it's projected that the SR-72 will undergo testing in 2025 and could potentially be in service by the 2030. The SR-72's production is part of the US efforts to develop hypersonic weapons, aiming to counter hypersonic weapons developments by China and Russia. 